Hey everybody, it's Colt. I'm going to show you how to make a simple but effective CSS loader spinner in like 10 lines of code. Um, this will be a short series. This is going to be a very simple one, but spinners can be a great practice, a great exercise for your CSS skills. Uh, you can make very complicated things using animations, obviously, transformations or transforms, uh, even using pseudo elements before and after, the, the content property, even masking. So there's a lot that we could do, but we're Going to start simple and then next week i'll have a slightly more complicated example with pseudo elements and gradients and then we can keep going with more complicated examples but i don't know if anybody will watch them but i'm gonna try so this is the simple loader we're going to make it's very simple it's a circle right we have two lines on opposite sides of the circle spinning and then we have some transparent gaps so it's just a box that has a top and a bottom border and the left and the right are transparent and then we set the border radius to make it a circle so why don't we start with that? I've got a code pen. Uh, it has a background, a linear gradient, magenta to cyan, just to make it look slightly nicer. And then I have my div with a class of spinner. That's what we're going to turn into our spinner. So the first thing I'm going to do is give it a height. Spinner, I'll select that. Um, what should its height be? Let's say maybe 120 pixels. We'll make it a square with 120 pixels. And then let's give it a six pixel solid white border to start. So there's our box. But what I actually want is the top and the bottom border to be white and the left and the right to be transparent or vice versa. But I want two opposite sides to be white and the other two transparent. So instead of using the shorthand, I could actually use border dash color and give it four different colors. So I can say white and then transparent, or I could use an RGBA color and then white and then transparent again. And now I have two parts of the border that are white facing across from one another. So it's kind of redundant. I'm setting it to be white here. I don't really need that because I'm setting the color right here. All right. The next thing we're going to do is turn it into a circle. So border radius 50%. And now all we have left is to animate it. So I'm gonna make an animation, a very simple one that just rotates 360 degrees, keyframe, we'll call it spin. And I'm gonna say, I want you to animate two and then transform, rotate 360 degrees. So I don't actually have to say from zero, uh, at least in most browsers. If yours is giving you trouble, you could say from rotate zero degrees to rotate 360. And now I just assign that animation called spin. Let's say one second linear and go forever infinite. And I'm missing the S on keyframe. There we go. That should do it. And we've got our spinning loader. Now I think it might be a little quick. So maybe 1.3, 1.2 seconds. And we can play around with the timing function. If I change that to ease, we get a totally different result. It's the same animation. It's just the function, the timing function changes how it uh, feels, right? We get this stop and start thing versus just a linear spinner. And there we go. Come back next week for another more complex spinner example. Please like the video, subscribe, and definitely send me your firstborn child. See you next week.